find a neutral spine, you'll come up onto high knees, and if you have a block, remove it from underneath of you. The knees soft underneath of the hips, press down and wide as the heels energetically hug towards center. Draw the hips back towards the heels. Press the arms down to lift the heart, lengthen the belly, open the throat. And find a couple of pulses here through center, drawing the hips back wide. Keep the hips tapped gently back as you lift and lengthen. Sweep the hands back, cupping both sides of the head. Gently press the head into the hands. Continue to pulse, hips soft, wide, forearms rise towards the sky. Using the elbows, they hug narrow towards the nose and energetically press wide to broaden the space between the shoulder blades. Open the heart on all sides. Next time you rise up, arc over to the right, picking up left side ribs. Press the head back into the hands. The hands are there to support the head. Pulsing a little bit deeper into that side line with each extension. Reaching through the left elbow, arcing up and over. Release the right hand to catch the outside edge of left thigh. Sit a little bit deeper. Allow yourself to arc up and over, creating a deeper side body stretch. Lift the chin. And come back to your center, take two arms forward, glide the ribs side to side. Like you were steering a ship or some other giant steering wheel. <laughs> Gliding side to side. And when that's even, coming back through center, hips pulse back wide, sweep the hands back, cupping both sides of the head, rise high through center, forearms lift towards the ceiling. You want to maintain these gentle creases in the front of the groin, even as we lift into our legs, allowing us to tap into the glutes the whole way. And rise up, arc over to the left, Lengthening through the right side line now. As we rise and arc, the head presses back into the hands and the chin stays in line with the heart. The eyes are still looking forward, lifting up through the right side ribs, extending right side body, reaching through the elbow, pressing up and over. And pulse the hips back wide. Inhale, rise. Exhale, soften. Release the left hand, catch outside edge of right thigh. Sit back, sit wide, lift and lengthen, rise and arc. The belly softly goes forward. Creating a deeper side body stretch by catching the thigh line. And 
and continue to breathe. And take one more pulse up. Come back to center. Arms press forward and wide, glide the ribs side to side. And this time as left rib cage rises, drop the chin to the chest, roll back through center, rounding through the upper back. Right side ribs lift, roll back through center, opposite side. When that feels even, find yourself in center. Coming up onto high knees, transfer weight to the right knee, hover the left knee away from the mat, step the left foot forward, landing lightly with the paw of the foot, the foot angle straight ahead, press the hips back and wide, energetically press the arms down to lift, the ribs lengthen the belly. We're going to use this momentum to stand. Next time the heart lifts high, press into the left foot, rise all the way up to stand. Replace the right foot back behind you. Coming into the high lunge. The stance is short so we can bend into the knees a lot. Take hands to the tops of the thighs. Glide the hips back wide. Pulsing knees forward, hips back. Now connect to a hamstring stretch, sending the left femur into the hip socket. Feeling the hamstring on the left side while keeping a gentle bend in the knee. Notice as the hips go back, the tailbone lifts. The lumbar moves in at the base of the spine, the heart is full and the chin is lifted. Option to continue to pulse extension into the hamstring or to take the right hand to the outer thigh, left hand to the bum. Pick up the bum, pull it up and over as you spiral right hand the right side toward, or the left side with the right hand towards the midline. As you're pulsing extension, rooting the femur back, spiraling the side to the midline. And take one more pulse. Arms press forward, transfer weight to the left foot, sweep right foot forward, connect the heel either to the shin or to the top of the thigh, just above the knee. Bend into the knee, glide the hips back, lift the heart, lift the chin. Coming into this like modified tree pose where the right knee angles up towards the top of the mat. It narrows slightly so the hips can draw back wide. Round down through the standing pose. Option to find a gentle pulse in the standing leg. The last stop catches behind the head with both hands. Head presses into the hands, lift the heart. Rise high. If you fall, just come back, no problem. Last inhale, arms stay as they are. Take your gaze back to neutral. Sweep the right foot back behind for zigzag. The foot 
plants behind the left and just off the mat a little bit so that we can come into this deep squat as the knees sway wide, the hips root back, rise high, lift and lengthen. Head presses back into the hands to support the neck. Elbows hug narrow to open the back heart. And the lower you go, the more you tap into the bum. Take one more pulse, hips draw back, knees spread wide. Lift and lengthen. And take the arms, press them forward as the heart will transfer weight to the left foot. Carry the right foot forward, cross the ankle over top of left thigh for cross ankle squat. Sit deep, draw the hips back, press the arms down to lift the heart away from the hips. This is an energetic um, motion with the arms as if you were pushing yourself out of a pool, lifting the heart away from the hips. First stop stays here. Second stop sits a little bit deeper. Take your hands to the shins. Glide the hips back, pull the heart forward. Bending, bending through the standing leg, ground down through the standing toes. You got this, stay with it. One last full inhale, breathe. Exhale, arms press forward, cross the right foot all the way over to meet the mat. Knees squish forward, hips root back. Let's take the hands, sweep them back, up in the back of the head, we'll go with this beam. Draw the hips back wide, lift into your legs, forearms towards the sky. Use your toes, connect the right toes to the mat and drag back, really squish the knees together. Keep your roots rooted as your ribs rise high. Option to play a little bit, curling in, rounding through the back, and glide side to side. And sit back, sit deep, lift and lengthen, open and bow. Come back to neutral, arms press forward, transfer weight to the left foot, step the right foot wide off of the mat, step the left foot wide, see we sway, glide the ribs side to side. The arms just sort of float through the air, the motion is guided by the rib cage. We're really creating space between the hips and the ribs. Lengthening the torso, finding fluidity. Come through center, horseshoe hold to the top to the thighs. Glide your legs from side to side. Even here, we connect the toes, press them down and wide. Send the hips back. Keep the heart high. And then that's even, coming through center. Deep bend into the knees, hinge at the hips, take the torso forward, fingertips to the mat, plant the hands, option to step back or hop back to hands and feet. 
If you're hopping, your eyes look forward, strong press the mat away, deep bend into the knees, press the floor away as you hop back. And pedal the heels, shift the hips from side to side. And then narrow the knees to lower the knees, coming down to all four. Untuck the toes, draw the hips back towards the heels and come into a child's pose. Allow the forehead to rest to the mat, or if you're not into melting, to make a stack of your fists, keep the forehead high. And just take a moment to connect with your breath. Allow yourself to soften the eyes to close. Be here for two more full breaths. On your next inhale, press into the mouth, lift the heart. Pull yourself forward and through into all fours. And find some undulations of the spine. Draw the hips back, almost back into child's pose, and then ripple forward from that place, articulating each vertebrae. Creating this wave-like motion from the pelvic floor through the side of the head, moving at your own pace. As you're ready, coming back through neutral, walk the hands back to the tops of the thighs, sit back onto your heels, lift the chin, take a full inhale, exhale, coming up onto high knees, the arms press forward, energetically hug wide, broad in between the shoulder blades. Find this pulse, the hips, root back, the arms press down, open the belly, open the throat. Finding this fullness in the rib cage that is light and buoyant. Transfer weight to the left knee, hover the right heel. Find the lightness in the heart before you step the right foot forward, landing with the palm of the foot, the foot angles towards the top of the mat. And draw the hips back wide, find the length in the belly, and then transfer weight to the right foot, come forward to stand, and take your hands to your hips, we're in this high lunge, feet are parallel as if on train tracks, facing towards the top of the mat. Hands at the hips, give yourself a little anterior tilt to really send the butt back. And bending and extending through the legs, root the right femur back into the hip socket. And take your fingertips to the top of the thighs. Using this point of sensitivity to press the heart away. Find lightness in the torso, lift the chin. And glide in the hips back to find that extension in the hamstring. Keep a micro bend in the knee. And this is a cool place to stay or come with me. 
for a little bit of molding. Right hand to right bum, left hand to outer thigh. Spiraling the right thigh in towards the midline as you pick up the bum, pull it up and over the hip. Continue to pulse, finding the extension through the hamstrings. Be here for one more moment. And take the hands forward. Transfer weight to the right foot. Sweep right knee for sorry to the transfer weight to the right foot. Sweep the left knee forward. Connect the heel either to the shin or just above the knee. Bend into the standing leg. Root the hips back wide. Lift the heart away from the hips, open the throat. Option to stay here. Find your balance, ground down to the standing toes. Or option to sweep the hands back, cupping both sides of the head. Lift into your length, open the front line, open the back of the heart. Rise through the forearms. One more full inhale, stay with it. Exhale, come back to your neutral hand, stay as they are. Sweep the left foot back behind the right, just off the mat. Coming into this little dancer <laughs> uh, zigzag pose. Bend into the knees, the knees play wide as the hips move back, rise up high through the forearm. You might need to play with your footing a little bit if you feel unstable. Lift and lengthen. Root down through the toes. They press down and energetically wide. Heels hug in towards the midline, the knees press wide. Sit into your seat, lift into your length. And take one more. Inhale, rise high. Exhale, come back to neutral. Take the arms, press them forward. Transfer weight to the right foot, sweep left knee forward, cross the ankle over top of right thigh. The knee angles up towards the top of the mat so we can glide the hips back wide. Energetically, as if you're pressing yourself out of a pool, the arms press down, the ribs lift away from the hips. Standing toes grip the mat, bending through the standing knee. Option to stay here, option to pulse, or last stop, sit lower, hands cup the shin, root the hips back wide, pull the heart forward, lift the chin. We're getting into the booty today. This has been my theme this week. My legs are so shaky. <laughs> It's good. You get strong in those places that feel weak. Last inhale. Take the arms forward, cross the foot all the way over. The knees squish forward as the hips root back. Lift the heart, lift the chin, lengthen the belly. Find your pulse, root back. This time, and this time, you can give yourself a hug, reaching for opposite shoulders. Energetically, or actually, grab the shoulders and pull the shoulder blades wide. Feel that expansion through the back of the heart. Begin to wiggle, slide, slide the ribs side to side. 
side. Maybe take your ribs for some circles, whatever feels uh, great, <laughs> the best for you. And come back to your center. Arms press forward. Transfer weight to the right foot. Step the left foot wide. Right foot wide. Horseshoe hold to the top of the thigh. Slide your legs from side to side. Come through center, draw the hips back wide, hinge at the hips, take the torso forward, fingertips lower to the mat, press the feet down and wide as you send the hips back, rooting the femurs into the hip socket, just find a couple of extensions through the hamstring, lift the heart, if you have a block this is a good place. If you need more space to keep the lower lumbar moving in at the base of the spine. The deepest pose is fingertips to the mat. And take one more pulse. Plant the hands, option to hop or option to step back. If you're hopping, eyes look forward, big hop. Let on the back with a spring in the knee. Pedal the heels. Take the knees to the left. Lower right hip to the mat. Extend the right arm long. Lie on to your side. Roll all the way onto the back. Make your way back to the center of your mat. Knees into the air at 90 degrees, arms press up into the sky. Find this energetic hamstring curl, the heels hug towards the bum. The lumbar lifts away from the mat, so you can see the belly is so low. The head presses into the mat, lifts the chin. Find a couple of core extensions, lower the heels to tap the mat. Lift back up. We're just hinging at the hips, maintaining these creases in the front of the groins the whole way. And finding that extension through the fascia, the front lines, the belly. Remember to breathe. And as you're ready, take the feet to the mat and plant them wide to the edges of the mat. Take your hands, dome, finger flips, meet the mat above the head and the elbows are uh, angled up towards the sky. Allow the knees to drop to the right. Bow the belly towards the right. Allow the belly to soften and open. Lift the chin. 